What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar. Welcome to 20XX Tournament Edition. For those who don't know, 20XX Tournament Edition is meant to be an add-on to Super Smash Bros. Melee, which adds some features and some things to Melee uh, that would be beneficial in like a tournament venue or a tournament setting or even just a friendly setting. Um, there are three ways that you can get tournament uh, 20XX Tournament Edition. The first one is to download it off of the website 20XX.me down in the description and you can put it onto your GameCube memory card if you have a homebrewed Wii. The second way was you were able to pre-order a memory card that had 20XX on it and it came with the file and you know it was all fancy for $15. I don't know if he's doing that now. I don't know if he's going to continue doing that. That was just another way you could get it. The third way is to copy it over from a friend. So if you don't have a homebrewed Wii and you didn't have the opportunity to purchase a pre-ordered memory card, you can basically just copy over the game data to your GameCube memory card and you have 20XX just the same as I would. So without further ado, let's jump in how to get it. So first things first, you'll notice I'm not in 20XX because I have nothing unlocked. All of these are vanilla characters, I think, or not vanilla characters, but you know, default characters and these are all the default stages. So to get to 20XX Tournament Edition, you come down here to Name Entry and press A while your GameCube memory card is plugged in. And there you go, you can see we were booted back to the home, or I guess the title screen, with 20XX Tournament Edition version 1A on it. And when you press Start, the rest sound happens. So, let's jump into what makes this cool and why there are some cool features. So, to get to the features or the settings, you go to Tournament Melee under underneath Melee, and you get with this custom uh, menu, I guess. That says 20XX by Dan Salvato. So Dan Salvato is the creator, of course, and uh, he did pretty much all of this on his own. I think he had a little bit of help, but most of this was his undertaking. So first things first, I'm going to turn on widescreen mode because that makes for a better video and it just looks nicer because it just looks so much nicer in my opinion. Um, there are a couple glitches with, with widescreen mode which I'll show off, but uh, for the most part it looks really, really good. Alright, so Let's head down here. There are two groups of settings. There's tournament settings and 20XX settings. I'm going to go through each, all of the settings just very briefly explaining why they're useful or what they do. So in tournament settings, we have only one menu and we have five settings to choose from. So the first one is neutral spawn points. And what can happen occasionally is say you are plugged into uh, slots one and two, your controller ports one and two, I should say. Uh, sometimes you can get a poor position of advantage when you spawn in. So, turning neutral spawn points on basically gets rid of that, you know, for example, uh, sometimes you, uh, player 1 can spawn above player 2, and so obviously this is a point of advantage versus player 2 who is right underneath them and can basically just get hit by any aerial right away. So turning this on gets rid of that and puts you at a neutral distance and a neutral level every time, no matter which spawns are, or which, no matter which controllers are plugged into which ports, which of course is helpful because then you don't have to worry about port priority, at least for, um, for spawn points. Version 1.00 behavior, so for those who don't know, there are several versions of Melee out there, I believe the most common ones are 1.00 and 1.02, uh, and 1.00 has some, I guess what you might call buffs, I guess 1.02 more had patches, which nerfed some characters and had some, uh, some different behaviors for characters, so sometimes, characters or players want to have version 1.00 in order to uh, sort of gain those features back so you can turn that on in 20xx tournament edition frozen mode is probably the most useful one in my opinion and basically it takes any anomalies or you know randomness from a stage and takes it out of it so for example and i'm going to show this off in a minute but for example on Pokemon Stadium you will not have any transformations at all on Dreamland you won't have any wind from Wispy on Final Destination I believe the animations sort of stay on one uh, background so it doesn't it's not distracting and on Yoshi's Story I believe you get rid of all of the shy guys so uh, that's very nice um, if you sort of agree to play on a frozen stage Hold start to pause is pretty simple it just prevents accidental pausing so you have to actually hold so you 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 hold start intentionally, so it means that you had to have paused. And finally, lowering Dreamland background music is more of a tournament venue thing because sometimes it's really loud and, you know, anywhere you walk you'll hear Dreamland's music as opposed to any other music, so turning that down can prevent that. And that's all of the tournament settings, so when you come over here to tournament mode on, only these settings will be available to you. The 20XX settings are all aesthetic changes, or, you know, things that make the game run a little bit different 
rather than uh, you know improve just for tournament venues. So uh, when you turn that on, you won't have access to 20XX settings. But let's go ahead and take a peek at what 20XX settings has. There are three groups, aesthetic, mechanics, and training code. So in aesthetics, obviously you're only gonna be dealing with visual stuff. So skip results screen, very obvious. You can just not have that. Mission complete, the winner is screen. Random stage music, again, very obvious. You can get a bit more of a sampling for the music in the game. Disable screen rumble is actually something I think a lot of people don't realize exists. I don't think they know there's screen rumble, but when you turn it off, it's uh, very, oh, I'm sorry, when you turn this on, which disables the screen rumble, um, it's very noticeable. I keep it on just because it sort of actually does throw me off a little bit, um, and I find that most people do actually get thrown off when it's not on, so I usually keep this off. Extra shield colors, very cool. You can have up to 10 shield colors, I want to say. Um, and all choosable from the character select screen. Um, and, and for a bit of training purposes, you can turn on L cancel flashes, where you will either flash white when you successfully L cancel, or flash red when you unsuccessfully L cancel. And finally, you can unfreeze the game and sort of like Brawl or um, uh, Super Smash Bros. 4, where you can sort of move around a little bit after it says game. So I'll turn that on just to show that off. Mechanic settings, you can spoof the game to think that there's a controller plugged in in case you want just, uh, in case you only have one controller but you just want a CPU there to, to stand there while you're practicing tech skill or something. You can hold A, B for a salty run back, which basically just restarts the, uh, restarts the match. I found that if you have this turned on in tandem with unfreeze game end, you can't actually use Salty Runback, you can only use Unfreeze Game End. So if you're going to use Salty Runback, I suggest turning off Unfreeze Game End, unless I'm just getting the timing off. But even then, you don't have a lot of time to remember to do that. Um, enable Taunt Cancelling is pretty cool because you can sort of run to an edge, press Taunt, continue moving, but you'll hear whatever your Taunt was. Uh, was a 64, a, a Smash 64 thing that I guess they were able to put into 20XX. And finally, disable star KO, which will basically just cut down the time that you're dying off the top. Uh, it's not a recommended that you have this on during a tournament, which is why it's in X, or it's in uh, 20XX settings, because it can ruin some timing, such as Jigglypuff's rest. Sometimes Jigglypuff players um, basically rely on having that star KO time to recover from a rest, so if you're having less time to die, that Jigglypuff player has less time to uh, to wake up from the rest. So that's why it's hidden in 20XX settings rather than in tournament settings. Finally, we have some training codes. Um, you can have L cancel training wheels, which basically will always L cancel for you. Infinite shields, obvious. Fixed camera, obvious. Collision bubbles, um, pretty obvious. It just shows the hit boxes and the hurt boxes and things like that and input display which is a cool thing which I will show off in a second uh, which basically just constantly shows uh, what you are doing as you are playing so with all of that said let's save an exit and let's jump into a match so that I can show off some of the things that I mentioned so uh, oh, I remembered what I was from last time but I'm gonna go ahead and choose Falco and I guess I'll do Fox um, if I hit L or R while on the what is this? The character select screen. Um, you can see that it's changing color, and this is the color that your shield will be. Um, if you do not uh, choose one specifically for... Wait, is that two different white? Oh, that's white and gray, I guess. If you do not choose um, one, obviously it's going to be the default. But now it just changes to whatever your shield color is going to be. Um, unfortunately, you can't do that for CPUs. Um, you're going to have to basically unplug your controller, and then plug it into that, and then choose, and then go back. Kind of a pain, but... Um, yeah, and so you'll notice that ready to fight is in green. This is symbolic of when you have 20xx settings turned on. If you come back here to not to melee, if you come back here to tournament melee, turn on tournament mode, hit save and exit, and no, it didn't recognize my input down, so I just spammed a bunch. All right, if you come over here, see now you'll see it's yellow. So you know that you are in tournament mode when this is yellow. Otherwise, it will be green. And that will be a sign that you need to go and switch it off if you're playing a tournament match. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick... Let's do pink. Why not pink? Oh, I didn't keep my colors. Alright. So, I want to see what's in here. Because I don't remember... Can I... Alright, so... Pressing Y turns off... Uh, okay, so pressing Y turns on the... Count... The stages for... Um for doubles, and pressing X turns them on for uh, singles, so that's pretty neat. 
Coming over here to the stage select, you'll notice that the thing is completely blank. And this is because you can use this to counter, or I'm sorry, stage strike. So basically when you press Y, nope, not Y, when you press X, it bans a stage. So it gets rid of it completely. So then you can basically, actually I think you get rid of all of them, yeah. And then you can just one ahead press Z and all of the stages will come back. But it's nice because uh, that way you aren't distracted by all the other stages, you just have the stages that you want to play on. Um, so finally, like I said with Frozen Mode, if you press Y on the stage select screen, you can uh, load up Frozen Mode. And so now we won't have any transformations on Pokemon Stadium. And uh, why is... Well, that was a... That was, I guess, oh, I guess it was uh, neutral spawn points. Alright, so uh, as you can see here, um, I, I am not L canceling right now, and that shows that uh, show, that is shown by a red flash. And of course, you can uh, flash white if you successfully L cancel. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna play a quick match just to show that this does not actually um, this does not actually uh, load up any transformations uh, because that's probably one of my most favorite features about this um, is the transformations can be a bit of a pain. On, uh, on Pokemon Stadium because in my experience most tournament matches just end up being stalling like you just sit there waiting for the transformation to end occasionally someone will attack you and actually go in and uh, that's sort of annoying too because it just sort of breaks up the the momentum of the match which sucks so um, so it's just nice to have that that frozen mode option all right uh, one more stock and as you, yeah, so, so you can tell that uh, my shield here is pink, um, and I don't know, it's just, I'm just showing off a bit of the, the aesthetics. Um, there's, there's not a ton of features here, it's just, uh, the, the more, it's more accessible is the thing, because I can literally just, uh, and as you can see there is the ending where I, it's unfrozen. It's just more accessible because uh, it's not its own ISO, it's literally just run off of a memory card, so if you have a memory card you can have this. Um, as you can see there, there's a glitch with the widescreen, which I don't think it's possible to fix that. I think that's just how the game will render it. Um, but yeah, that's basically 20XX Tournament Edition. I do want to show off one thing, which is... Uh, let me turn this down to one stock. And we're going to play a quick match here with, uh, with uh, uh, Marth and Fox. And I'm pretty much just going to kill him. Oh, I was too late. I was, I mean, way too early. Alright. Alright, so now, that, that's how you'll know that it was me, because I died, alright? So, that is how that happened. Alright, so now if we press Z here, we can actually save a replay. So, let's, uh, I forget how we do this. Alright, so, slot A. Alright, so, it comes with... Oh, I guess, unlimited? How many per per slot? Nine per slot, and then you get 26 slots. Okay. Or 26 IDs, I guess. So let's save it as A0, and let's save to memory card. All right, there we go. So anytime you are on... Oh, wait, what's happening? Okay. Wait, I... Oh, you can change this ID, too. So you have... Oh, that's a lot, actually. So that's nine times 26 times 26. I think. That's crazy. All right, let's exit. Let's head back to Melee, and now, anytime you're here, you can press Z, and now let's load from the memory card. We're going to load A0, and hit Done, or I'm sorry, hit uh, Play Replay. So we loaded that, and now this is going to be, I'm not pressing any buttons, this is going to be just the replay. So it saves the inputs, and uh, it saves your inputs, oh, see, see, see I was there early. And it's pretty much perfect. I don't think it's it's going to mess up at all. And as you can see there, I died just like I did. And then he did exactly what he did as well. Or I guess the CPU did, I should say. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. Um, and it's what's especially cool is that you can do that using the new 20XX input display. So if we save our settings, come back to this. And press... Uh, play replay again. Uh, it's not there for some reason. Oh crap, how do I, what do I do? There we go. Um, can, 
do I have to re- I might have to reload it. Here we go. Let's- let's reload it, and then let's play replay again. And- nope. That's weird. Alright, um... Let me try playing a match real quick. If not, I can just show what the thing looks like. There's a way to do it, I know, for a fact. Uh, so let's go to Fountain of Dreams. Nothing happens to Fountain of Dreams while it's frozen, by the way. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, now I'm up here moving. And uh, it's matching me pretty much perfectly. Um, even even the subtleties of the analog stick are uh, are being picked up. It's not just picking up the direction. It's picking up, you know, the, the, the digital. Um... It, and, oh, and it's also picking up the digital versus analog uh, inputs on the triggers because if you light press you are pressing down um, Digitally or I'm sorry analog and if you're pressing all the way in it turns white and that signifies the digital all right, so let's do that And there we go, and of course I'll die cuz why not? All right, and so then that gets saved pretty much every time but you only only when you um are actually going over here to physically save it. So now let's load that from the memory card and play replay. And hopefully this time, all right, it's not showing it. I don't know why. I guess I guess it's not supposed to. Um, I guess unless I have to press something, which uh, I don't know. But there we go. That is a replay system anyway, which is very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because I don't really care that they're on my memory card. So a zero delete from memory card. There we go. All right. So now let's exit, and a couple more things that I can show off, I believe. Um, I showed off turning on t tournament settings. Um, there's widescreen mode. Uh, what else is there? Aside from uh, the aesthetic things, okay, there's one more thing. One more thing. Come over here to sound test. And you can pick any song you want. Any song at all, and you just gotta hit play. So I'm gonna pick the best song. Break the targets. All right, so let's hit back, and now let's go back to the menu, and now let's press start. This is now your menu music. So basically, all you got to do is go to sound test, listen to any song, and it will automatically be your uh, menu music. So you'll go from listening to the same song to now you can listen to maybe less common songs or less listened to songs because we only play on five stages in this game. So uh, five stages, six stages, six stages. So um. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that, my friends, is 20XX Tournament Edition. Down in the description, you can download this at 20XX.me. It's a free download if you have a homebrew Wii. Well, it's a free download anyway, but you're only going to get it if you have a homebrew Wii or I guess some kind of peripheral for a uh, for a GameCube memory card. And uh, you can get it for free. It's 100% free. And like I said, it's free. Hey, did you hear it's free? And that's pretty much it. Um, if you're looking for something to basically use for practicing and learning, you're not going to get that with 20XX Tournament Edition because it's specifically for using at tournament venues. Um, things like 20XX, the actual modded game, is uh, is more meant for practice because you have things like modified CPU AI as well as skins and such because these are only this, these are exclusively running action replay or game sharp codes off of the memory card, so you can't get things like custom skins, custom music. But 20XX by Achilles does do that, so if you're looking for actual practice, um, I would recommend that. Outside of that, 20XX Tournament Edition is fantastic. I really recommend it, even if you're just playing on your setup at home, um, because it has some really cool things. Anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.